What's up guys? So today's Tuesday the 13th and today's gonna be a boring day. Uh, Layla is at my in-laws. My wife's at work right now. It is 9.30 in the morning. Sorry about the fucking gardeners. But I need to keep the balcony open because uh, so where we live, the, the front door is always locked. So it's a pain in the ass to get deliveries. So usually FedEx will yell out or UPS will yell out and I'll go down there. And the one that I'm worried about is I fucking hate with the passion on track because they'll just come, try the knob and then just fucking take off and then I get a notification and say, oh, I couldn't get in. They don't even fucking try. So yeah, today I'm just waiting for parts. So today I have uh, the EGR tube coming. That's coming from Rock Auto. Uh, it was time for a new one. We brazed the last one and obviously it didn't last. It lasted a while, but why keep fixing something that's 20 something years old when I can just get a new one? Then I'm waiting on the rear shocks, the auxiliary shocks, because the Bronco has two shocks for each wheel in the front. So I'm waiting for those. The main front shock won't show up till I think Thursday. So I'm gonna install this all this weekend. I also have the fuel injector rebuild kit coming because you know, fuel injectors are expensive. I didn't really they're really expensive. So I'm gonna rebuild those and then I have all the things called the trans trans depth trans depth torque curve throttle body spacer. So a lot of people swear by it, a lot of people hate it. You know, I just I decided to give it a try. So my problem I'm having is the Bronco has fucking power. The Bronco takes off. And that's my favorite part is I love seeing these dealer trucks like straight off the lot. They get on the freeway and they start smashing on people. And they see a 28 year old truck just fucking fly right by them. I love that shit. I love that because I just stare at them and it's like take that shit back bro, get your money back. So I know I guess I have that from my racing days. Like I've always I've always had a heavy foot, and I love... I just love driving fast, and I love driving, I love smashing on people, so... Yeah, that's always fun. So yeah, today just waiting for parts. I'll be right back, about to return. But yeah, today is just a boring day. I'm not gonna upload today. I'll probably upload this or I'll add this on to the weekend video. Or I might upload it tomorrow once all the parts get here. And then the weekend video will just be an install video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna sit around, wait for parts today, watch YouTube. So thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, enjoy. What's up guys? So, package number one arrived. This is the Rock Auto, which came FedEx, so they're pretty good about delivering here. They usually get here, they either call me or they'll start shoot, uh, yelling out. But yeah, this is the EGR tube that broke on mine. Uh, this one's kind of weird, because it doesn't have what well, looks completely different from mine. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, when I looked at the parts, I said this is the one. This one doesn't have the flex. So maybe it's like an upgraded model or something. But yeah, it looks exactly the same minus the flex part. But yeah, I don't mind it. It goes like this. So this goes to the EGR and then this goes to the intake manifold. So mine broke in here like this part completely like ripped off and I guess when it got rebuilt it didn't get put back on but yeah mine has a flex right here 
and then for some reason this one doesn't have it which I'm hoping isn't a problem so I'm gonna keep everything in case I have to send it back but yeah package number one all right so this is gonna work I looked up the part number right now and it says the it replaces the OEM one which the OEM one looks exactly like this and if you see right there it has like a little accordion flex kind of thing but yeah it matches same diameter uh, same length I think this one's gonna be a little bit better because it doesn't have that flex thing so I'll never have that problem again so yeah looks like it's gonna fit so now just waiting on fucking on track What's up guys? So, like I said, on track fucking sucks, but at least it delivered it. So, I was walking home from an interview and then I fucking see a random box at my front gate. So, anybody could have fucking taken it. So, thanks on track. Once again, you fucking suck. So, let's open this bitch up. So the thing everybody hates and some love the throttle body spacer so I'm really excited to put this shit on um, I hear a lot of mixed reviews some people like it some people completely fucking hate it say it's a waste of money some people swear by it uh, and you guys gotta remember I drive a Bronco so I'm not looking for speed I'm looking for a little bit more of a response so hopefully this is the answer and it comes with two gaskets perfectly all right so that's the throttle body spacer that's going on this weekend for sure then I ordered eight four five Six, seven, really, really, eight. So I ordered eight fuel injector rebuild kits. So that way I don't have to spend an arm and a leg on new injectors because injectors do get pricey. So I just went ahead and ordered a rebuild kit, which comes with the spacer, the two O-rings, and the pinto cap. Um, I thought they were going to come with the filter, but that's alright. I'll just soak them in chem tool, and that'll take care of everything. So, if you inject the rebuild kit. Thanks on track. And then this is what people have been asking me for. And they've been asking what what I go with or why and short explanation is I don't want to pay a lot. And I want shocks that are gonna last me a while. Cause so a lot of these guys they go and spend a gang. And I mean a lot. Just to break it. And that's not what we do. I, we like, I don't rock crawl, I don't do any of that shit. We just like to go on adventures, go on long trips, and that's it. So for what I need, these are perfect. I'm not gonna go spend close to almost more than what I paid for the truck just on a suspension, which is stupid to me. So I went, I got in contact with these guys and they told me that they built these shocks for people like me. People that need off-road use and people that just want a nice smooth ride on trips. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. So this is why I went with them. I love their customer service and they helped me out a lot. So yeah, here you go. 
So these are the accessory shocks. I mean the auxiliary shocks. The Bronco has two shocks per wheel. So I went with some Skyjacker Nitro 8000s for the auxiliary. Or people call them quad shocks. And then for the rear, I went with the new Skyjacker Black Max. Now, I haven't really heard anything about these because they're fairly new, but I will say that they sent me a video and that shit just, I was sold. Like, yeah, they're not monotube and yeah, they're not, n there's no reviews on them yet, but fuck it, you know, like, they had great customer service, they fucking sold me on these and I'm gonna try them out. And we worked out a deal and now these bad boys are going on the Bronco. And the thing I love about these is that right now I have no lift, so they will fit. Eventually I wanna do maybe three and a half, and guess what, these will fit. So that's fucking perfect for me. So these are gonna go on the Bronco this weekend as well. So the, um, what else am I waiting for? I have a dome. The dome cover is coming tomorrow. My front shocks, which are also Black Max. Uh, the main shock, not these, the main shock in the front. Those should be here tomorrow. And then... What else? I think that's it. So I think Friday is going to be a full-on install day. So it's going to be fun. So I have the EGR2 to install. The rear shocks, all four front shocks, rebuild the injectors. Wow. I have the throttle, the intake, the upper intake, plan them off to put the EGR tube. I'm gonna throw on the throttle body spacer. So, yeah, it's gonna be a fun weekend. Can't wait. So, I'm gonna start Friday. Hopefully, I have everything done by Saturday morning. That way we can just go somewhere and try it out because I'm excited. So, yeah, this is the rest of the stuff. So, I don't think I'm going to post this until I have everything so you guys can see everything that's going on to the truck. And I'll make, uh, I'll make a list of this stuff in case you guys want to see it. That'll be down on the link of this video. So, yeah.